Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I originally played it in 2020 when it released, uh, and I basically couldn't pry myself away from it. I played it for like eight hours straight for like a week in a row, and uh, it was just an incredible experience, and uh, that was before Grounded Mode released. So in order to compensate for that, I played on Survivor with uh, all of the difficulty modifiers turned all the way up and uh, the HUD and everything else turned off and I never used listen mode. So I kind of have already done a grounded run of this game. But uh, that was way back at release and uh, ever since the game has been patched to run on PS5 and, uh, you know, have a proper grounded mode, um, I've been wanting to go back to it. So... Here we are. Uh, we're going to start a fresh new game. You'll see I have a file started. This is just so that I could set the settings in the menu. Uh, we'll just go here. Grounded. Yes. Just like in the first game and in Left Behind, we're going to turn tutorial messages on because there are different mechanics in The Last of Us 2 compared to The Last of Us 1. This game has very expanded combat uh, maneuverability and mobility compared to the first game. Uh, and what I mean by that is not only is there a fully implemented dodging system in the game, but uh, the characters that you play as are able to uh, lie prone, uh, get on their backs, uh, roll over, uh, get on different angles, switch which side they're aiming from, things like that uh, that just really affect how you maneuver and control the character. So that's going to be on because I can't remember the exact controls uh, for every little um, piece of tech in the game. But uh, as you can see here, aiming inverts are off, permadeath is off, uh, and we are starting on grounded. So uh, let's just strap in. Hope you all have a good time. I'm supposed to take her to the fireflies and walk away. You go halfway across the country with someone. She needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefly. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save.
Jesus Christ, Joel. What do you do? I saved her. That's a lot. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? I didn't say otherwise. <laughs> we should head back. So it starts. And Joel said it right here. He told her her immunity meant nothing. It's a pretty sour note to start this game on. And that's where we really start to understand this game's approach to part one. Uh, this is not a happy <laughs> uh, ever after story. This is a story of Joel living with what he did at the end of the first game. And a story about how Ellie lives with what happened at the end of the first game. What a life to live, at least in the apocalypse, right? As Ellie said, you can't deny the view. This game is insanely impressive looking for a PS4 game. Uh, it bats pretty close to part one's PS5 remake. Not quite there, but pretty close.
beautiful environments. It's okay. I got him. You go on. You sure? Yeah. Right. About what we were talking about earlier. I can't say I'd have done different. I'll take it to the grave if I have to. See you later. Ellie? Oh, Jesus. Just gave me a heart attack. I tried knocking, but... Hey. Hey. What's up, Joel? Just checking in. Folks are, you know, talking about how impressed they are with you and how well you're helping out. It's good. Yeah. Tommy and I went out riding the other day, and he, uh, <laughs> he told me a joke, and I, I thought about you. It's, um, oh, shoot, I forgot it. Uh, something about a clock. How do you... Joel, it's, uh, it's pretty late, and I gotta get up in a few hours. Yeah, 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 I know, and I'm, I'm gonna get out of your hair, just, um... I, I want to show you something. Just give me one second. What's this? Some folks call this thing here a guitar. Funny. You want to hear something? Okay. Promise me that you won't laugh. I won't laugh. 
I won't. I'm trusting you. Sometimes you'll succeed to make this man of me. For all my stolen missing parts, I've no need for anymore. As I believe, and I believe, as I can see. didn't suck. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. She's yours. No. No, 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 no. I don't know the first thing I about this. I promise that I teach you how to play. You did. What do you say, tomorrow night, first lesson? Deal. Okay. Okay. Did... Do you remember the joke? What is the downside to eating a clock? It's time consuming. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Good night, kiddo. Morning. Sorry, I totally overslept. Just give me a minute and I'll get dressed. I heard you had quite a night after I left. I... She kissed me. It was just Dina being Dina. She didn't mean anything by it. I was talking about your fight with Seth. Wait. You kissed Dina? <laughs> oh. I thought this... We're was... broken up one week and you make a move on my girl? <laughs> no. Uh, she was probably just trying to make you jealous. I didn't... I would never... Oh, fuck, this is awkward. I'm messing with you, man. I don't care. Get dressed. <sighs> You're the worst. That's <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucked up you did that. <laughs> <laughs> Stop 
together while we're late. Oh. Hmm. Smells fine. So here we are in The Last of Us Part 2, and we are playing as Ellie. There's a few things I wanted to point out from that cutscene. Uh, first things first, we got the Savage Starlight poster, but also right behind her here, Sam's toy. Now, I don't know if it's the exact same model, but it looks so similar to it. Uh, and so one of the things that I think is kind of interesting in that first cutscene is Joel is playing Future Days by Pearl Jam, talking about the future that he sees with Ellie. And Ellie is turned around with her back to her past to literally everything we experienced in the first game, the Savage Starlight posters, the conversation uh, about all of these things, animals of the past, uh, that's the giraffes, the zoo animals, Sam's uh, toy, everything, the arcade machine in there, pistol, her Walkman, Everything from the first game that she had her back turned on while Joel sings to her this song about what their future will be, what Joel sees their future to be. But at the same time, Ellie hasn't really fully bought it yet. It's clear there's distance between her and Joel. And it's growing. Ellie's interest in comic books is clearly continuing, which is kind of cool. Let's look at some of the other stuff. Uh, so tired. She has a PS3. What games does she have? <laughs> Jack and Daxter HD collection. What is this? Uh, Swordgate Chronicles. What's that? Brave Limit. She's got some anime. <laughs> and of course, the guitar, which, if you noticed earlier, has a moth motif on it. Uh, much like the fireflies uh, were a motif in the first game, Ellie's motif in this game is a moth. Let's see. Sara. Is that Ellie's... Is Ellie a scaly? Is that her fursona? <laughs> it's like a lizard lady. Of course, we have Dina and Jesse right there. People from town. Uh, it's unclear who that person all the way on the right is. Maybe another friend from town. Oh, that's the person uh, who gave her her tattoo, which we'll see in a little bit, I think. <sighs> sure. Packs of pasta. <laughs> now we have Ellie's journal as well, which you can actually uh, see. Dina asked if I was going to go to the dance, and she touched my arm. Ugh, I'm so delusional. Don't be an idiot. She's like that with everybody. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Don't fuck up your friendship. Tonight was crazy. I feel scared, elated, anxious. Just got to sleep it off. That was Ellie's last night. And of course, hey, her is knife. Joel up? We got reports of the detective out north. We had sent him and Tommy out earlier this down. That sucks. Yeah, can't imagine they got much sleep. Definitely not as much as you. Shut up. I was just about to get up. I was. You got everything? Yes. Heads up, you're the talk of the town this morning. <sighs> what? Let me see if I got this right. You kissed Dina. She kissed me. Which triggered Seth to call you a not-so-nice word. Yep. Then Joel decked him. More of a push. And then you got mad at Joel. That part confused me. It was a strange night, man. Sounds exciting. Sorry I missed it. So Ellie lives in the garage behind Joel's house. This right here is Joel's house. Hmm. 
And we get to see what Jackson looks like for the first time in game. Be safe out there. We always are. Maria wants a word with you. Where is she? It's a diner. Oh, is this about Seth? No clue. Just tell her you never saw me. Nope. Where's your fucking loyalty? Excuse me? Hey, Jesse. Hey. 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 I just love these environments. They're so lively and lived in. Hey, so we're okay, right? You and me? Yeah, of course. Dina and I are done. I know, it's just, I don't want you to think. Ellie, we're cool. Promise. Thanks. There are children here. People alive. Hey, old timer. Yeah, get a good scratch. Town info. The winter dance. Uh, moving horse supplies from west side to east side of Stable Tuesday. Uh, and then the movie is rated G for Kid Friendly, Housebreaking Rufus, Town Hall Meeting Monday. That's too low resolution to read, but we need some volunteers to help out this Thursday while Kelly's on patrol duty. Please let either Kelly or Bobby know if this is something you could help with. Thanks. Hey, Jesse. Oh, hi. They've managed to create a pretty, like, simple sense of normalcy here, right? They have a stable amount of food, but they also have things like de-icing salt. Obviously scavenged, but still. Tool rental available. Wow. We'll trade for working power tools. Free parts. <laughs> I didn't even realize there was stuff to scavenge already. It's interesting. Hey, Ellie. Want to grab some breakfast? No. Where's Maria? In the back. There you are. Come here. Seth's got something he wants to say to you. I don't want to hear what that bigot has to say. Do it for me. Please. Fine. Seth. Seth, come here. Hey. Uh, look, last night... I was, uh, I was drinking too much. Sure. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. Maria tells me that you and Dean are headed out. I, uh, made you some sandwiches. Okay. Your steak. Thank you, Seth. Yeah, well, uh, you be safe out there. Yep. I appreciate that. What you got there? Bigot sandwiches. Mmm. Smells good. They're yours. <laughs> you sure? It's fine. Let me walk you out. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, 
I hate to say it, but I've definitely been there before. And, you know, good on him for apologizing. Finders keepers. Uh, but it's definitely awkward to be put in that situation. All right. Uh, brains and Brawn. Born in a spark laboratory, the Keen twins were considered a failed experiment in heightening human sentences. Uh, sentences. <laughs> Heightening human senses. They were abandoned on the doorstep of an orphanage, but the forlorn pair soon learned of their abilities. Born deaf, Ophelia not only has amazing eyesight, but can see things on the infrared and x-ray spectrum. Born blind, Xander can hear for miles. No footstep is too quiet, no secret is safe. So long as they're together, they make forbiddable opponents. Interesting. So that is this game's Savage Starlight replacement. We'll be collecting uh, those comic book character trading cards that Ellie likes. When you go out, I want you to trade off with Tommy and Joel. Those boys have been up for far too long. Where do I meet them? If you go up to the Northwest Lookout, they're scheduled to arrive later today. But watch yourself. There's too many sightings of infected recently. Of course. I was going to check out the creek trails. I'll need someone else to cover it. Ellie, you know the creek trails? Not really. Dean has done it a bunch. I'll have the two of them take it. Come here. Well, that solves that. So this is what looks to be a classroom of some kind. Yeah. So they even have a working school system. It's pretty impressive. And again, we have that motif of animals being associated with kids. Monkeys, elephants, Ellie, giraffes. Can I talk to you for a sec? Look, I don't know what's going on with you and Joel. Maria. The guy really cares about you. And I'm sure he didn't mean to. We're fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry to pry. Be safe. Thanks. Yo, Dina! Assignments! <clears throat> Just give me a minute! Can we get your girlfriend to the stables, please? <laughs> hey, Dina. Can I talk to you? <laughs> hey, guys. I'm tapping out. Come on. How long? Whew. Hey. Hey. Um, I just want to say sorry for running off last night. Oh, that's, it's okay. I totally get it. I... <laughs> I just, I felt bad. Why? Because I, I started the whole thing, and... I just, sh I shouldn't have kissed you in front of all of those people, and... No, you were drunk, it's fine. Well, still, I just, I don't want you to think... No, I'm not reading into it or anything. Just... You know what I love about you? How you let me finish my sentences. All right. Well, we should probably get going. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm not even playing! Because you're a chicken? You're a chicken! <laughs> I hate this kid so much. You want to fuck him up? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you asked for it! You better run, you little shit! Holy shit! Get your cover! Go! Go! Uh, gotcha! We're on the board, suckers! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, oh I'm coming okay, for you, okay. Tiny! Ow! Damn! Arm on that kid! Ow! Eat that! Oh. I'm gonna come over there and fight you, like, for real! Ah. Oh, oh, you like that? I see you! Ow! I know where you live, Alex! Oh, oh suck it! Oh. Fuck yeah! Don't tell your mom. I see you! Clever combat tutorial. Ha! Boom! Eat snow, you little shit! Oh no, you got snow in your hair. Ow! Who taught you that? Ow! Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
on my shirt. No hair. Eat it, shrimps. Hey. hey. How's it feel? <laughs> no. Get her. Help me. You'll never get away with this. Get off of her, you monsters. Help me. All right. All right. We actually have some work to do. Scram. Oh, man. I guess I asked for that, huh? Yep. Let's go. All right, I can't go back there, but there was a note from Dina, I think, about someone uh, stealing her horse's food. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it said, but uh, there was like a note on the board over there. It's like a preset so asset. So Jesse wants us to do the creek trails. He's gonna relieve Joel and Tommy. Oh, that's nice you assigned us together. You're gonna like this route. That's right there. So it's whoever stole Japan something, bring it back. Don't be an ass. <laughs> so someone took something from uh, Dina. I think her horse is named Japan. It's a nice church, nice looking building. Morning, girls. Morning. Hey, ladies. I'll bring them in. Thank you. Oh man, look at that bread. That looks so good. <laughs> Joel, Tommy, Jesse, Mike for Teton County. What's Ellie assigned to typically? Nothing. She's on some sort of remedial duty then. Oh no, Elk Creek, Ellie and Dina. Anything over here for us now? Muddy. That's a good girl. Look who's here. Thanks. Come on. All right. Hey, Shimmer. Oh, look who decided to join us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One for you. And one for you. Open it up. Settle down, children. All right. You all know the drill. Run your routes, mark your log books, clear any infected you see. You run into anything you can't handle. You come back. Be smart about it. All right. Get going.
were you dreaming about? Was I talking? You were doing your teeth grinding thing. Where have you been? Grab your gear. I want to show you something. What? Trust me. Come on, this way. <sighs> it's cold. You sure you don't want to do this when the sun's out? And it's warmer? No. Can't wait. And you don't want to just tell me? You need to see it. Look at this vista. This is great stuff. Really beautiful environment design. The fidelity on her hair is amazing. Wandering around out here by yourself. Been restless. You too? I feel like the farther south we go, the prettier it's gotten. You want to keep going? And just drive all the way to Mexico? I've thought about it. I could see Manny's hometown. Yeah, I don't see that living up to his stories somehow. Yeah, no, probably not. You did all this in the dark? Yes. Now, come on. Yeah, you can see his footprints. <laughs> She's strapped, you can see it. Look at that. Definitely has a really different posture to the survivors in Jackson. We keep going like this. We're gonna be tired for today's trip. It's not that far. Okay, is Mel okay? Huh? She seemed huh? out of it these past few days. She'll be fine. You stop being weird. You're freaking me out. I'm not being weird. Careful jumping over these. Go. Avoided getting soaked. <laughs> Are you breaking up with Mel? What? No. You wish. Uh, I've had my fill. Thank you. It's doing a lot of heavy lifting to characterize these people already. You're gonna have to run to make it. Ouch. We can't all be as graceful as you. Clearly. What is that? You'll be fine. It's too high. Come on. Eyes on me. Abby, stop looking down. Owen, do we have to go back this way? Consider it an opportunity to work on your fears. How about I work my foot up your ass? Abby, stop flirting. <laughs> the facial performance capture in this is incredible. I mean, the fact that you could see her actually widen her eyes as uh, she got scared from the heights. Really impressive. Is this it? We made it. Holy shit. It's a fucking 
Second City. Yeah. Have you told anyone else? I wanted you to see it first. Saw an armed patrol go from town to an outpost over there. A few more outposts in between. They have electricity, guns. It's a lot of people. We can figure it out. Okay. Assuming he's in there, how do we get to him? We can corner one of the patrols and get confirmation, and then, I don't know, maybe find a way to lure him out. Yeah, okay. I'm sure they'll be happy to offer that information up. <laughs> well, then we make them. You hear yourself? Okay, what do you want to do? What is going on with you? Mel's pregnant. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's not just that, though. Should I say congrats? When everyone else sees this, they're gonna want to turn back. We can convince them, right? I fucking knew I couldn't count on you. Happy. I want what you want. But not at any cost. Hey. Don't! See you back at the lodge. Now we begin to see where this game is going with its story. We're playing as the secondary character, Abby, who's trying to infiltrate Jackson to get someone and confirm not only their whereabouts, but where they are uh, and how they uh, integrate into the town. And the people she's with apparently want what she wants, but not at any cost. She states there might be some danger in this. Now we don't know what exactly it is that they want, but already it's clear that they have some potentially violent plans in store. That's gonna put them right. Pregnant. It's gonna put them right uh, on a collision course with Ellie and Jesse and Dina Shit. and Joel and Tommy. You alive? Here are some of these uh, cleared out, infected. The patrols clearly do their job to some degree. Either that or the cold did them in. very grim.
This character, she uh, she packs a punch. She knows how to fight. over there for us to see so this must be one of the outpost areas at least because it does have sleeping bags so the patrols from Jackson must be here sometimes and with that area behind us at least somewhat cleared out we know that there has been people th uh, through here at least at some point So there's our first strategy for grounded, aiming with the flashlight. <laughs> Because the circle on the flashlight, if you can get close enough to an enemy to actually see it, is a decent indicator of the center of uh, where you're pointing. is way more trained than Joel was in the first game. So clearly she's part of some sort of military operation. There's nothing for me to scavenge right now. She doesn't have a backpack I can rifle through currently. So she can't craft. She doesn't have uh, a journal or anything. Anything in here? No. Other one is, I think, in that room right there. 
something in here for us. Ooh, a pair of boots, though. You'd think that the people from town would take that, but... Is that a dormant infected? Unclear. Alright, so we're getting tons of ammo. Nothing to craft with. doesn't have a brick that I can use or anything. We moved way too fast. This is going to be really dangerous. Again, incredibly impressive facial capture. Alright, that's a trap right there. Just gotta watch him. get our first taste of how uh, the combat maneuvering has changed. You're just so much more mobile. You can do so many more things. Just look at these like squeezing animations. Oh, wait, are those horse tracks? Alrighty, we'll pick up here next time on The Last of Us Part 2. See you then.